on this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new Jack Widemouth barrel for the Morse, which turns it into the blunderbuss. Let's go test it out. Since this is our first aftermarket part that we're getting here in season five, I really hope this is good because it's a really cool design. The blunderbuss is usually a pretty decent weapon, but I guess we'll find out. And if you look, this is the ADS on it now. You get to move it slightly more towards the center, which lowers the, the reticle on it. A little more accurate. But how's this doing against some tier one zombies? Ah, it took two of them out in one shot. Looks like it can still collapse. And it looks like it almost has that little electric barrel on it. In the description for it, it says it shoots out little electric ball bearings. So we got some balls coming out of this wide mouth. And so far, it kind of feels more like a shotgun. And what about against some tier two zombies? Okay, it does like half their health. Unpack, punched, unupgraded. I guess a third of their health, depending on where it's landing. Is it better close range? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's probably about the same damage from that one test. You can kill hellhounds though. That's good. But what I'm really curious about is if this keeps the Morse's pack-a-punch ability. Like after we pack-a-punch this, is it still going to have those explosive rounds? And will those rounds work with deadware or detonators? That's really what I want to know. And for our final test before we pack-a-punch and upgrade this, how is it doing against some tier 3 zombies? Let's throw a quick decoy. See if we can isolate the armored zombie. And it's not really doing anything to him. He don't even notice we're here. It's literally just tickling him. Can I at least kill the hellhound? Ooh, barely. I don't think we'll be able to do enough damage to him without firing 100 shots. So let's go ahead and upgrade this to legendary. Get this to pack a punch three. Now how we doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no. I don't think it's killing tier three zombies in one shot. At least not the way I'm shooting it. Headshot damage maybe though. So it looks like dead shot is going to be a must with this. Hit fire is not terrible accuracy wise, but the damage is a little lackluster. The fire rate on it already seems pretty fast without a uh, speed cola and without MAGA holding so far. And this is the reload speed, just in case you haven't seen it the hundred times I've been shooting it. Let's go ahead and throw MAGA holding on now. So now we shouldn't even have to bolt it back. We can just spam it, which is nice. And how much ammo we got with this? 151 bullets. Not the greatest amount. The scorcher keeps appearing on me. Stop it. Go away. But 150 rounds should be good enough. Hopefully we can pick up some ammo along the way. And just for a little warm up, let's try this against a tier two bounty. All right, Mimic, you gotta be our first victim with this. How much are we doing with one shot? Not the craziest amount, but then we start spamming it and he should be dead in an instant. Let's go. Does this have enough range to take out the disciple from here? It does have enough range to hit him, but the spread on this is kind of crazy. You gotta be a little bit closer with it. It's also very loud. Wait, can I hold down the trigger? Does it constantly shoot? No, it don't. But just spamming it works. I think we're probably good to go here in tier three. How are we doing against tier three zombies again now? Still pretty all right. Definitely want to be closer in range against them. Let's grab the rest of our perks. Some dead shot will help. Now, how are we doing zombie? One shot kill to the head up close. And looks like a two shot against fully armored. They really don't like guns one shot and zombies with armor. Well, let's try that again. Maybe I just missed a shot on the armored zombie. Oh yeah, you can one shot him. Okay. You just have to have all of the, the ball bearings hit him. So being up close is definitely what you want to do with this gun. And since all the contracts are being taken up in tier three right now, let's uh, test this against the Stormcaller, shall we? Zombies, why don't you get out of my face? We'll Aether Shroud on him. Not really doing any damage right now, but we need that mass broken to see the real amount of damage we can get. A quick little decoy. Go down, all part of the plan. Now let's get back to shooting him. Can we get that mass broken? He broke his posture. Let's ADS with it a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Broke his posture again. Finally broke the mask. The damage isn't too crazy on it, at least against the Stormcaller. Like, we got him down to half health, but the per shot damage don't look the greatest. It does seem to break his posture a good amount, though. We've seen him stumble a few times. Where did he go? Hello? Stormcaller? Oh, he's over here. Let's get back to work. No healing. Stop it. I need you to die for me, sir. Please and thank you. Zombies, get the hell out of my way. There we go. We weren't even aiming for him right there. Still took him out. Love to see it. And he dropped the ray gun. Very nice of you, but I don't need that. Your skull will do just fine. And while we got double points active, do I get double points for selling a skull? We got to move fast. Um, nope. Don't think so. 
Lame. Now see how this is doing against an abomination. He's gonna open with the laser. The bullet spread on this is crazy. We broke a face on him pretty fast. Oh, and he's about to break ours right back. All right, fair game. We only have 23 bullets, so uh, let's take some zombies out. You guys got ammo for me? Anyone? They do, they have a little bit, a slight amount. Mimic, don't got time for you. Let's get some shots on him while he's shooting the laser. Oh, broke a face, I think. No, oh, you might have just stopped shooting since we we're too close. But I'll give us another chance at it. We got eight bullets. Picked up a little bit more just in the nick of time and broke the face. I'm not sure how to feel about this weapon so far. It kind of feels crazy with Maggle holding. The fire rate on it is insane. Doesn't look like it has the explosive effect like the, the Morse did. Or at least the default Morse. But the damage also isn't terrible. I don't know, dude. At least we can take this guy out. He's not going to drop us anything. He's cheaping out on us. But even though the explosive damage isn't happening, let's just go ahead and throw on dead wire detonators. Maybe it'll work. And since there's no contracts for us to do, let's see how this does inside of a stronghold. I can take out the cyst pretty good. And we're holding our own for now. Probably got to step outside though. We gem the health. I can't even hear myself think right now. Holy shit. This blunder bussy is way too loud. I'd expect nothing less. We just need like one more cyst destroyed, maybe two. Let's Aether Shroud in here. And there we go. I didn't think ammo would be that big of an issue with it, but it seems like we're running out pretty fast. I think we got a max ammo for doing that. And Disciple, if you could kindly stop. We get anything good for clearing that out? Not looking like it. Lame, dude. Where's the good loot at? Send it my way. But so far, this weapon's definitely usable. I was thinking it might be way worse than it is, but this ain't bad. We can work with it. But now we can put it to the test against a tier three bounty. What are we getting? Oh, it's a mega bomb. What's going on, buddy? We've already taken out a normal version of you. Is this any better against the HVT version? We broke his face a little bit faster. Maybe we just need to play a bit closer to him. Maybe that's our main issue. Okay, there you go, yell. Let's get that middle face broken. Ooh, the damage is actually pretty crazy up close. It's a little dangerous to be that close. There you go. Shoot that laser. We'll throw a decoy. Hopefully survive this. He stopped shooting it. Coward. Just die like a man. Almost there. This should be it. Go ahead and die. Fuck. Oh, now he's emoting on me. Yeah, go ahead. Get out of your system. Because you're done. You're to Oh, I'm toast. I need ammo now. I need ammo like yesterday. Come on. There we go. Whew, that was close. Now I want to try this in the unstable rift. I don't think it's going to go very well, but there's a chance that it does. And if we do go in there, if tier three is anything to go off of, we're going to be going down a lot. So we need to start saving up our money. We need some more doubloons. Let's try to knock out another bounty. All right, disciple, it's your turn. Time to go. You don't even know we're here. You think it can hear us? I certainly can't. Oh, and there's a self-revive in here. I didn't even have one the whole time. That could have been bad. Stop no clipping through the walls. Get over here and face me. Coward. Now, as much as I feel like this gun wants you to hip fire with it, ADS definitely feels way better. Or whatever this is calling ADS. This is like Doom ADS. We're getting way more damage on these guys now. And messing them up. He's gone. This feels very inconsistent. Sometimes I feel like I'm shredding through health bars. Other times it feels like I'm barely even tickling them. I guess we can just start doing our monoliths. I got as many self revives as I'm going to be able to afford. Let's knock these out. That's one done. Two to go. Here's the second one. A little dead wire for this. There we go. Just need to find one more of those. And there it is. What ammo mod do we need? Oh, dead wire. We already got that equipped. Let's start it up. Oh, and let's go down. Awesome. We'll just have to hit up a shop on our way to the unstable rift. Or after we activate it, we'll get that self revive back. There we go. It opened up. 
No self revive from that. Let's get going. We gotta get there before other people do. I don't want them to steal it. There we go. It's all ours. We got 30 seconds, so let's run to a shop. Okay, I will apply brain rot to this. Drop these. I will drop that. Buy these. Stow that. And ready up. Ooh, barely got it in time. All right. Wish me luck. This is either gonna go really good or really bad. I don't think there's any in between. Let's see if we can survive down in this better spot we found or that I've been told about. Apparently this is Glitching Queen's creation or her discovery. And it's a lot easier to get to than our, our normal spot on top of the building. So far so good though. The only damage we've really taken is from the storm that we had to run through. I'm just kind of scared how we're gonna go in the other four phases when there's a lease around. But it's doing wonders right now. We don't even got to do anything. They're just bringing us ammo. And it's doing enough aim punch to stop them from hitting us. Like if we don't kill them in one shot. That's pretty nice, actually. Again, we're going to have to wait to see how this is going to do against elites in here. But right now it's looking pretty good. The anti-camp lightning strikes are starting to hit us, though. We just got to make sure we move around a bit so we don't keep getting struck. Because those lightning strikes will eat up our self revives like nothing. It really don't matter if you come in here with people and you all got healing aura or you crash. God damn it. What the fuck? But those lightning strikes will get you. And they'll also crash your game, apparently. That's so stupid. We can't escape it. Dumb. New season, same old problems. But I guess we got to get reset up to head back into that unstable rift. All right. Take two. Please do not crash on me this time. If I'm not making it out of this, let it be because of my own skill. Now let's get back to our spot. Excuse me, zombies, if you don't mind getting the hell out of my way. All right. We've made it. All I want to see is how this is going to do against elites. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. No fucking way it happened again in this almost the same spot. I'm, I'm, I don't think I can go through it again. I don't think I got the mental capabilities to... Level all the way up, get all my stuff ready again, just to hop back in here and crash. Uh-uh, ain't doing it, not happening. Well, I guess overall opinion on the blunderbuss aftermarket part, it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. It actually is pretty good damage-wise. You gotta stay up pretty close to the zombies. Uh, the pellet spread goes pretty wide, so the closer you are, the more damage you're gonna do, the more pellets that are gonna land. And using it with Maggle holding with no bolt back, you can really just spam shots with it and it does like an insane amount of damage. Looks like I can take out almost any boss. Like I was fighting abominations with it, fighting the Stormcaller with it, fighting tier three zombies with it. And it was even doing well in the unstable rift until we crashed both times. So I don't know how it's going to do against bosses in there or even the final boss, but it, it seems pretty decent. I think it might be able to get through it, but the game don't, don't want me to see. It don't. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.